We're shearing today. It's an annual process that we work all year for. What basically the process of shearing is you bring the sheep in 12 to 18 hours prior and fast them on water and feed so that they're comfortable in the shearing position. The professional shears that we bring in and all shears really incorporate a pattern that allows the animal to be most comfortable and most safe. And really it's a process that uh, is pretty commonplace. You can see the sheep are very uh, comfortable throughout it and are glad to have that removed. It takes about two to three minutes to shear one of these animals for a really advanced shear. Oh, five to seven minutes for a novice like me, okay? For the most part, the shearing season in the Intermountain West goes from January, from our really early lambing flocks, clear out to the middle of June. And so it's a pretty intensive season. The wool has to be dried. That's one of the reasons you see them brought in here under cover. Um, the quality of the wool deteriorates and it's really hard to process if you shear it wet and bale it wet. And so we really make sure that the moisture content of the wool is, is really in good shape. Our primitive sheep is usually to try to keep a, a steady flow of animals going to the shoots. That way we're keeping the most efficiency through the entire process. That we're going to be here for about 12 hours today, so we're trying to make that so it's, it's not another 12 tomorrow, but it's more like 6 tomorrow. So just keeping a steady flow, I have to control all the gates, make sure that there's no sheep commingling, just because these are all different ages, different breeds different types of things. I mean, we have a research project over there, we have the trees over there. There's just a lot of gatekeeping and moving animals. I'm mostly helping uh, as they get the sheep sheared. I'm separating the wool from different parts of the animal because not all of the wool is put into the same category. So I help to separate and keep the area clean. Um, and then sometimes I come over and also help push the animals through the sheets. It's really an important animal welfare practice that we shear these sheep annually, but also that the art of shearing is done in the right way, that the animal welfare is maximum, the product that we produce is optimized, and those ewes get ready to lamb in the future. Generally speaking, you produce 10 to 12 pounds on our sheep uh, per ewe, per female breeding ewe. Uh, lambs usually are 6 to 7 pounds, first time shearlings. All of this wool that we produce uh, serves multiple purposes in research, teaching, and extension. So for the blanket project that we have in uh, conjunction with Mountain Meadow Wool, we're trying to sort some of the longer staple wool that we have that may be not on the finest extreme, but kind of intermediate in its fineness, so that it makes a really bulky, good throw or blanket. Um, that's kind of our objective here. Station Director Dr. Scott Lake and myself we talked about how this flock has supported wool judging efforts in the past, you know, selling fleeces to other collegiate judging teams and for ourselves. But we thought, what is a good way to highlight both the historic nature of the experiment station in the flock that we have maintained for close to 100 years, um, and also highlighting the products that can be produced? We thought it would be an excellent way to take a raw product that is 100% Wyoming grown at the University of Wyoming and processed at Mount Meadow Wool and Mill in Buffalo, Wyoming, and, and market those blankets in support of the wool and sheep program curriculum here. And so uh, this will be our pilot year. Hopefully we'll do it annually. We'll have different uh, versions of the blankets made. We've utilized University of Wyoming art students to design um, the blanket or the throw. And so really from start to finish, not only is it 100% Wyoming, but it's Wyoming students, which is pretty excellent. All right.